make sure you check out the links in our description to purchase Puppet Steve Legos and to check out our new line of Puppet Steve shirts. Alright guys, I'm super excited because today is Flash Day here on the Puppet Steve Show and we've got all the cool Flash guys from the awesome TV show and more! Alright, so today we have more Flashes than we can shake a stick at. <laughs> we've got them all. And then of course, oh, we'll start off this awesome review by opening up the Flash from the uh, TV show, which is, yeah, my favorite. And yeah, I didn't care too much for the movie version, but yeah, the TV version, oh, there he is! Played by Grant Gustin. Oh, it looks just like him too. Wow, look at that sculpt. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite version of Flash. Nice. There he is, all his outfit there. Blah, 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 blah. And he runs around. Oh, man, I'm a Flash. <laughs> oh, man, get that camera focused on him. He's running so fast. Nice. Boy, he looks really cool. But uh, now that we have the Flash, now we got to get some enemies. And we have our first one right here. Ooh. Eobard Thawne, which is the reverse Flash. So let's see. Let's get this out. And on the package, oh, he looks great. He looks just like Eobard from the show. Ah, oh, so cool. Don't do his outfit. <laughs> All red. And he's got his cool helmet on. Ah, oh, I love it. So, yeah, it gives old Flash here a run for his money or uh, run for something. <laughs> They're both running around. Ah, oh, I love it. So there they are, Flash and reverse Flash. Ah, oh, so cool. Iconic. Go ahead, head. <laughs> And of course, he has all kinds of cool accessories. Ah, oh, just love it. But uh, enough of that. Let's get to some more villains. Check out this guy. This is Godspeed. This is a, a later villain from the show. And unfortunately, the show hasn't been too good lately. But ah, oh, just love this character. Godspeed. Look at that. Oh, he's got all kinds of little things all over his body. Ah, oh, yeah. So there's another villain coming at you. So Godspeed, you a thon. Going up against Flash. Oh, we're gonna get ya. And then if that weren't enough, we got the other iconic villain, which is Zoo. Oh, so cool. Now they didn't make him in the McFarlane line, so we had to get him in the DC Comics multiverse line. And they're kind of out of scale with the other ones, but oh, he's so cool. Nonetheless, we just had to have him. So all right, let's get this guy out of here. Ooh, and just look at this. Oh, he's the Black Death Flash. Oh, I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> and his. Oh, I just love his teeth. Look at that. Ah, oh, he looks so grim. Oh, he's got all kinds of crazy things coming off of him as well because he's the darker Flash. Oh, I love it. So, yeah, like I said, they stand uh, a little bit shorter. Oh, that's unfortunate because I just love Zoom. I hope McFarlane Toys makes them soon. But, uh, yeah, this guy is cool nonetheless. I just had to have him in my collection. Oh, man, so now we have three villains. Look at that. Each one a different color. Oh, nice. And then if that were enough, well, this guy came out right here, the Dark Flash, or those, like, those Death Eater type things that uh, once you change the past, well, they come after people like the Flash and make sure that time is corrected. Oh, look at that face. So let's open him up. And look at that, just in time for Halloween. Ooh, this zombie Flashy is coming for you. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So yeah, he goes through the uh, time stream to destroy old Flash because he keeps changing the past. How dare you? Ooh, I'm going to get you now. <laughs> oh, but what a great figure. Yep, he looks all dead and zombie-ish. Oh, I just love that symbol. And uh, it's kind of crazy because if you want zombie Flashes, well, DC Direct made one in their uh, DC Direct line. <laughs> Look at that, the deceased Flash. Ah, oh, man, he's all zombified too. So let's open this guy up. Yeah, just look at this guy. Oh, man. Uh -huh. Oh, my zombie Flash. I'm going to destroy you. Uh. <laughs> I just love that face. Oh, he's all zombified. So it looks like this guy got to him. He's like, nom, 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 nom. I'm going to eat you. And now you're dead like me. Now we're both zombies. <laughs> Oh, two zombies coming at you just in time for the Halloween season. Ooh, give us your brains. Blah, 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 blah. All right, well, now we've explored all the bad guys. Let's check out the good guys because, well, we've got a lot of them. Starting with good old Jake Garrick. He's from the uh, show, too. And this is from the uh, new multiverse lineup that has a Build-A-Figure. Cool, so this is the first of those. And yeah, we finally have Jake Garrick. It's not the uh, TV show version. This is the comic book version from uh, Earth 3. And it looks like he's from the uh, different comic book series that I'm used to because he's got that thing all over his face. Ah, crazy. But he's got the helmet. He looks cool nonetheless. Look at that. All beefed up. Look at me. Oh, so cool. I'm fighting alongside Flash. Oh, come on. Let's go get Zoom and all those bad guys. 
Ooh, I don't think so, Flash. Get him. Ah. All right, let's get some more good guys out here. And now this guy isn't in the TV show either, but yeah, he's a big guy in the uh, comics. Wally West, the other sidekick of Flash. And oh yeah, look at old Wally. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm not sure why he hasn't been in the show yet. It's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, there he is. Flash and other Flash. <laughs> sidekick Flash coming at you. Oh, he looks great. Look at that. The head looks perfect, and he looks... Super comic book accurate, so another great figure. Now, if you want the gay jerk that's accurate to the show, we'll have to go to this DC Multiverse lineup again because, yeah, they made them. And out of the package, oh, Mama looks just like him. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, hey, Flash, how you doing? So, ah, oh, I can't wait for McFarlane Toys to make this guy to make it look just like the one in the show because, yeah, we need Flash and Garrick to be together. Hey, what's going on? Oh, nothing, Flash. Oh, let's go fight crime. Yeah, let's do it. And let's see, if we look at these other Build-A-Figure guys, check this out. So we've got two more variants. We've got Barry Allen variant and a Wally West variant, which look really different. Oh, weird. So let's open... Oh, man, I'm not sure what's going on here. Flash is all in black. He's got little red things all over his body. Great, that's from one of the uh, new comic book storylines. And it looks a lot different from the uh, Flash that we all knew and love. Ooh, nuts. And you can see the same thing about this uh, Wally West here. Who's all in blue? Ah, he looks like the Blue Lantern, Wally West. Huh, I haven't read the storyline, but uh, yeah, there he is all in blue. And uh, he looks kind of interesting all in blue. Looks like a vast contrast from the uh, one all in red. <laughs> like I said, he kind of looks like a Blue Lantern. Oh, I've been listening to the blue. So cool. So yeah, there's both Wally Wests. All right, so there are all the good guys. There are all the bad guys. Ah, oh, so cool. And if you want any of these free very own, we'll start looking at Walmarts and Targets. And Amazon's, because that's where they're coming out now. What? Are you kidding me, Puppet Steve? These figures are so awesome, you have to collect them all. But of course, if I have to pick a favorite, it'd probably have to be this one right here, because I look super handsome. All right, all right, Batman, you done yet? I want to unbox some stuff now. Yeah, 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 I'm all done here. Oh, boy, I just love these things. Great show you have here. Carry on. Hey, wait a minute, where are you taking those? Uh, you better bring those back when you're done, because I have to review them. Oh, that darn Batman. Okay, so now we're going to open up the last realistic figure from this line, which is Green Arrow from the TV show. And I gotta say, boy, does he look great. He looks just like he does from the TV show. Holy cow, they got his whole bow caster right there. He's got his quiver with arrows in it. They actually come out. So that's a cool little feature. The only thing I don't like, however, is that you can't take his hoodie off. But I gotta say, it's a really good likeness, especially if we kind of take this off. You can see his hair underneath right there and it makes him look more like the actor that portrays him on the tv show but like i said that doesn't come off so yep we're just gonna have to keep it on right there but i love his outfit yep his jumpsuit looks just like it does from the tv show and it's an all-around great looking figure